In this problem, we are going to look at six different functionalities using the arena simulation tool. And first part is about the entity generation, having two entities, part type one and part type two. And part type one basically will be generated based on the given schedule. Okay? And part type two will be generated with the with the given interval times following the exponential distributions with mean of 15.1 minutes and next part is a sequence assignment so each part type will have different sequence for pr each process and basically we have the detail about the diff two different sequences and we are going to implement this part in arena soon and, and in addition to second and third part, we have fourth function. And this one is about the entity transfer. So the transfer time is given. And basically, transfer time between all stations will be the same. And uh, however, we have uh, the limited number of the vehicles carrying part. So we have two four trucks carrying part. And last part is uh, the um, statistic generation to calculate, uh, to estimate the, the uh, operational cost of the system. And last, um, in addition to that, actually we have uh, also, we need to implement another condition for simulation one. Got it? So let's develop the, this simulation model with me. So if you open the Arena software, you will you can see the basic process panel here. Let me enlarge the screen a little bit for you. And here, because we have two entity types having with the different the, the generation processes, so you need to have we need to have two different create modules and first one will be used to generate the entity uh, part one to generate the part one so let's say this one is a part one create and then the type will be part one and this one will generate entity part one and the part part type one with the given schedule and we will call that schedule as the part type one schedule mm -hmm. and click OK All right and next one will generate the part type two so let's say part two and similar to the previous create module we can call this as a part type to create however in this case we use uh, exponential distribution with mean of 15.1 minutes okay and first creation is time zero at time zero so you can keep this default value mm, and click ok right also but this is not end we need to specify the schedule right for entity generation so if you click the schedule data module in page process panel you can see the part time one schedule here and the basic time unit is hour because the given if you check the given table the the basic time unit is hour so you can keep the default time unit and click the duration button here and you can see the empty window if you double click the, this empty area you can generate the load and we need to have how many it's not six basically because uh, because the we and number of entities or library number of entities are same for second third fourth hours so Basically, first hour we have seven entities. Part time, seven entities. For first hour, 
first hour and we have 10 entities for what for three hours is this correct no 30 entities for three hours right and then you have eight entities for another hour and two entities for last hour if you don't like this part then basically you can just uh, change uh, this area with the three other cells and those cells will have the 10 as each value and then one is duration but I like to use this one because this is simpler than other approach and anyway you can keep this So now you can generate the uh, generate uh, at two different entities. And second and third requirements is quite challenging uh, because we need to use um, sequences, and basically sequence data module and let's look at the second requirement is about which is about uh, a, a sequence assignment operation so this is just uh, basically this is just operation so you can use process module in page process here mm -hmm. and we can call this as a sequence sequence assign process So seize the release option action it must be seize the release because we are going to use one human resource human operator mm -hmm. and follow the process time assignment this assignment will follow the triangle distribution with parameter three seven eight minutes. Okay, so click OK. Mm -hmm. And what else? And because this is assignment task and process module just uh, spends some time, but it didn't do anything. So we need to put the assign module right next to the process so that we can physically assign the sequence to each entity type. sequence assign mm -hmm. and this case we have to because we, we need to assign the sequence to the entity so we can call the, this entity sequence mm -hmm. and here let's use the advanced set having two different sequences so what will be the okay so we can call this part is a sequence set with the parameter and part type okay this is an index of part type and as you know we never specify the part type before so we have to put another assign module here and there so that we can assign the value of the part type so here's the attribute called part type we need to you create a new part type having the value index of part type so first part will have one as each part type index and next one will have another attribute another value and each part type will be two and right so in assign two and we have part type one 
we just assign the attribute of part type and let's make a link between modules so okay so in this model was entity one part one was entity one generated part type part type one is generated and then it will have each part type attribute with one and then spend some time here in this process module right and then after this you will have each own sequence by using this expression so but this means we need to specify the advanced set having two sequences let's specify the advanced set here so if you go to the, the advanced, advanced process panel you can see the advanced set here and if you double click this advanced set here and currently there's nothing so here if you generate the sequence set having two different members which are sequences um, so let's call the part type part one sequence first member oh, first member will part type sequence the next other member will be part two sequence mm -hmm. so this advanced set has two members currently two sequences and if you go to the, if you open the advanced transfer there is a sequence data module and so we can generate two sequences basically and these are the member members of the sequence advanced set sequence set one is part one sequence another one is part two sequence okay and this information sequence these sequence actually sequences are given by the table in third requirement and in order to implement this let's so the let's look at the other and fourth let's implement the fourth requirement first so fourth requirement is about the entity transfer okay so basically it is so basically we need in other words we have to in this problem if you look at the, look at it because we don't have any distance information between stations we cannot use transporter in the advanced transfer panel right so basically we need to use so in this case you can use a resource as a for trucks and let's put uh, three enter modules so and leave modules and first enter module let's call this one as a workstation a okay and there is a and this one is unload time unload the time for unloading so which is 1.1 and one minutes and in this case because we need to use a resource instead of transporter so i'm going to select the release resource option and resource type and so will be resource and resource name will be for trucks oops okay so that whenever entity enters this and pass passes this module it can release uh, one unit of fork trucks this is workstation a enter module and 
another one will be the work extension B. Now we have same setting because of assumption mentioned in requirement fourth requirement. Okay, and then we have processing time. at each workstation a process module process operation at each workstation so if you check the third requirement we assume that each station has two work two machines one is old machine another one is a new machines and new machine is 10% uh, faster than another one so let's put process module after the workstation A and workstation B. Mm -hmm. So workstation A process. And then this one is a C delay release. Click add button. And however, in this case, each workstation has two machines. So we are going to use a set. Um, basically, you don't need to ha you don't have to use a set, but in this case, each machine has a different since each machine has different process time, so we have to use a set, resource set, in other words. So workstation a set, and the machine index will be saved in this to the this attribute and uh, so the delay time process time will be different for each machines at each workstation so basically you need to choose the expression and in minute Mm -hmm. and so let's say process time we have so let's assume that each entity has a attribute called process time and this is a times by multiplied by the factor array the vector variable vector array variable array factor variable array so and so the machine index and then this array uh, in the in the factor array you can we can select the, the appropriate factor using this machine index and this machine index will have either one or two because we only have two machines at workstation okay click OK so you can do the same thing for process 3 if you want to save time basically you can just copy this call flow into here and just change the name of the process module so that you will have most settings right and however you need to choose a set again but this case the workstation B set so we have two different resource set and machine index is still same and expression minute okay so process time time plus time multiplied by the factor array and okay and then click OK and let's specify the factor uh, where are you so if you go back to the variable we double click it you can create the factor array and uh, it has two rows mm -hmm. right and then initial value will be the original machine is uh, so the new machine is uh, 10 percent faster than another one so you can put 1.0 here and then 1.9 so this is a uh, for new machine because new machine is a tempers faster than another one old machine so this is old machine okay got it 
Um, so, but still, now we have factor array. So we are we are we are okay with this part. Uh, however, we don't have workstation A set as well as workstation B set. So let's create the workstation A set and workstation B set. So go back to the resource. And we have, and by the way, we have two fork trucks. So check, change the, the value of number of trucks here. And we can also create the uh, four machines. So machine one, bolt. Mm. Machine one, you. Machine to old and machine to new. Mm -hmm. So this is capacity is one, 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 one. Yeah, we have four machines. So these machines will be used at the workstation A process. And so let's open, click the, the set. data module and you can see the two different sets right and those are resource sets uh, so first set will have machine one old machine one new and next one will have machine two old machine two new mm -hmm. so now we are also okay with this part but still we need to specify the process time attribute using sequence module and however um, before we specify the sequence data module sequence data module uh, sequences for the two different edit types parts uh, we want we can put the leave module right after the work Right, the e right after workstation A and workstation B. Oh, this is not okay. So right. And time for loading is still point one minutes. If you want it, you can change the name. So let's say work say a leaf. And transfer all C's resource and resource name will be what? For trucks, right? And uh, I choose a route because uh, we don't have any, we are not going to use transport here. And move time is also given. Tra travel time will be 1.1 minute but it's an exponential distribution sorry uh, exponential distribution mm. minute and destination will be choose by cho chosen by this sequence and you can do the same thing for the another workstation leave a minute and one and here says resource and name of resource will be for trucks and result the route and if you don't know the expression of exponential distribution you can just choose click the this drop down menu and expose with the mean of 2.1 minutes mm -hmm. and destination will be selected by sequence okay so now we have two workstations in our simulation model and also we have the starting point right because initially entity does not have each part 
doesn't have the location information okay so now we need to have uh, we need to have a we need to have a, the another station indicating the starting point to the entity so because as I mentioned before usually the entity actually entity does not have any information location information so we need to specify the starting point of for each entity and here you can use just station instead of enter module because this module I mean if you want to use the enter module and you can yeah, feel free to do so but anyway this is the uh, Mm, there's no name of the first station so we can just say that this one is just so uh, station one or starting station and also you will have to change the name of the station name because this part is in the label and this one is uh, the ID identifier and here after this you also need to have another leave module with same parameters but different name So after the, uh, the sequence assignment task, actually, the entity will have the each location information, and then it will call the transport. It will seize one unit of four trucks. Mm -hmm. And also, we need to have the final destination because we have to el remove the, eliminate the, the generated entities from the system. So here is a dispose and let's put another enter module and this is uh, let me say final station parameters are same and release the resource okay so basically although we the in the problem we all we only mention about two different workstations but you physically you have to have four stations involving enter modules four stations involving enter modules right and now we are ready to specify the sequence data module so if you go to the, the advanced process no advanced transfer panel and you can find the sequence and now you can see this these two sick these two sequences and click the first one so first station destination will be the this this will be assigned to the the part one so for station will be the workstation a that station the next one is workstation b that station and after this entity will leave the system so you need to send this to the final station that station yeah name is weird but anyway same name part one step one and part two step two part one step two part one step three 
okay and assignment will be we have to have give the process time and I think oh we don't have the name so process time and value will be exponential 9.5 Next one, I'm sorry, and um, fourteen point one, and last one, you don't need to assign any value here. Okay, same as the first sequence. We can specify this stage of name for part two will be. First station will be station B, that station, and the one, uh, second one is a station, workstation A, that station, and last one is the final station, and part two, step one. Two, and three, and assignment. First time with exponential distribution and next one also process time and distribution 15 okay so now we have the, the sequences And you can save your model. If you run it, You will get error. Hmm. Why? Let me check. So whenever you have the overflow error, you can check your parameter, time unit of your parameter, basically. Yes, because it, yeah, because in this case, if we need to run the simulation only for six hours, so let's change the run length. Yeah, it seems like it is okay now, but. As you can see, if you run simulate this model forever, and you will get the uh, error message because uh, some given parameters. Uh, currently, the we need to in this it seems like we need to hire another operator to assign the tasks and sequences to the assign the sequences to each part type because you can see the 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 long long waiting line in this queue. Okay, now we have uh, the we already verified the model, so now it seems like it doesn't have any potential errors. And however, we need to so the fifth requirement is about the the the, the estimating the operational cost. So we need to create basically we need to create user specified customized statistic. Um, you know, to do that if you go to the advanced process and then there is a statistic module and if you double click it you can create uh, st your own statistic and it must be output 
and here you can put the expression so in our according to the description the we need to compute the daily profit of the facility so daily profit mm -hmm. and price of each part is fifty dollars and cost of raw material is ten dollar per part so profit revenue minus cost so this expression let's click the so in order to generate the expression we can use a build expression here mm -hmm. so we need to care about the number of basically the number of generated entities and the type and number out part type one plus number out part type two right so we can have the total number of entities and this uh, these numbers times by multiplied by 50 minus 40 mm -hmm. and overhead cost for the facility is 10 dollar per hour which means T now so and at the end of simulation T now will give you the sim total simulation runtime which means six hours and human operator get paid twenty dollar twenty get paid twenty Right, we have one operators and operating cost of each machine will be ten dollars times number of machines that we have. So if you go to the resources and you can see the current number schedule. In this case, we ignore the price of the. There are two things. So in this case, we can ignore we because we didn't mention about the, the operation cost of truck, and so we can ignore it. And ML, this expression will give you the basically one. And here, plus, we need to consider four machines. Okay, and also that this this twenty dollars will be multiplied by the number of operators. Okay, so we have now we have uh, the the completed expression. And first part is about the total is about total revenue, right? And then is our the end cost. This is the operational cost, fixed cost basically. So click OK. And and this is the end of today basically. Right. So if you run the model. You will have report and it seems like the potential profit will be 758 okay and thanks for watching this video and hopefully you can understand how can develop this practice model